I'm Minky and today I'm going to be making um, brown stew fish. So my ingredients will be fish, of course, and um, I have some onions cut up here. I have thyme, pepper, tomatoes, chopped garlic, and scallion or green onion and some pimento seeds. So the first thing I'm going to do... Um, I have washed and cleaned my fish because of the size of this fish. Oh. I just split the head in two, make it easier. So I'm going to salt, add salt, and pepper. Now that I have salted and added pepper on the inside of the fish, or where I've cut it and let it sit for about five minutes I'm gonna fry it so I've heated the oil um, as you can see it's extremely hot and just waiting a little until it gets a little cool or actually I turned the stove off so it cools down um, then I am gonna fry these I'm gonna fry this one first Careful as not to stay close because it pops and it burns like hell. Um, so after frying for a good five minutes, actually less than five minutes on each side, I get it golden brown. Then I put it on the paper towel so I can um, get half of the oil out. Then I add the next pieces. I like to fry my fish golden brown. So um, that's what it should look like. And I place it on some paper towels so it drains the majority of the oil off. And that's the rest of it frying right there. Now that my fish is fried and I have placed a saucepan with oil and now it's hot so I'm going to fry up my seasoning or saute them. All of my seasoning. it a little then I'm gonna cover it and allow it to cook some more when my onions are more cooked and translucent I know I am ready to add my fish and the rest of my preparation uh, four minutes later it's nicely cooked <clears throat> and I'm gonna add the fish. Wow, looks like my pot is too small. Uh, add some. Heinz ketchup. It doesn't matter. Just ketchup. <laughs> I'm saying Heinz like I'm advertising for Heinz. Ketchup uh, and some water. Depends on how much fish you're cooking and how much gravy you're looking for. So it doesn't have to have. It doesn't have to be like thick or anything. It's just. And then I'm gonna pour it over it. Uh. Mm. 
shake my pot. And then I'm going to cover it. So, <clears throat> two minutes later, I had to change my, my saucepan. It was too small, my pot. So, so, you can see the seasonings are on top now. shake it because I rather to shake than to stir so my fish don't break apart and I'm gonna cover it again let it steam again I gave it three four minutes and then I turned it off because my gravy is nice and thick and ready and my fish is soaked and cooked so that's my brown stew fish this is how I made my brown stew fish so along with my brown stew fish I'm gonna be cooking some Jamaican food grown provisions and dumplings so I have potatoes sweet potato and yellow yam so I'm going to be boiling it. I just put some salt in the water and I boil it up and I am going to peel these. So I peeled my yam and I'm going to cut it and put it in the pot. Ow! <laughs> nice and hot. And I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in here because it's going to stop it from getting that dark color. So this is sweet potato and mm. yellow potato. I am adding. Oh, this is dangerous. My dumplings that's been sitting here. I usually make them and then remake them before I put them in the pot. Because I like them nice and smooth. So after I add my dumplings, I um, I stir the pot to make sure you know nothing sticks to the bottom. And I can't cover this; has too much water in it. So I'm just gonna let it boil. Ready. So um, my dumplings are boiled, and um, I took out the potatoes and stuff because usually and the yam because this usually boils before, so they don't get squashed up. So, this is my meal. I'll be plating it and you'll see what it looks like. So, this is the entire meal. I only put one dumpling, added avocado, my yellow yam, my sweet potato, my sweet potato, and my Irish potato, and my brown stew fish.